friends today's video we will learn how to make mathematical model of a mechanical translational system okay so before we started this video so if you are new on my channel please subscribe my channel thank you so let us start it here we have a mechanical system here so we need to take a differential equation from the system and then we will make a mathematical model of the system so here you can see the f of a of t is basically the acting force on the system and x of t is our displacement and the output of the system so here you can see the three forces is acting on the system which is the mass itself force and the spring force and dashboard force so these three forces will, would be equivalent to the force here you can see f a of t so according to the physical laws you can see here you can write over here these three forces uh, dashboard force and the mass itself and the spring force would be equivalent to the force is acting on the system so here we have uh, a you can say uh, the acceleration which can be written here uh, d v of t of, uh, v of t by dt equals to d squared x of t by dt squared this is the acceleration and now you have to just put the value here then you will get this equation this is the dashboard force this is the spring and this is mass itself so now we want to model this uh, mathematical model of this equation so how we can uh, how we can make a mathematical model of this equation so you have to uh, just uh, move this two terms uh, dashboard force and the spring system and you can just put these two terms on the right side then you will see this equation so now the equation we have formed here now we have to just make the mathematical model so these are the blocks which we have required to make a mathematical model of the differential equation or mechanical system so here we have uh, when we will just uh, take the double integration of this differential we will get the x of t which is displacement so here we have two integrators now these two integrators will give the displacement as a as an output and here we have a uh, gain mass so this is the mass because here you can see the mass is multi getting multiplied with this differential second order so and now this is your adder so basically here we have you can see the three terms just a wait so here we have three terms uh, if you will see so now here we have a uh, first f o uh, f x of uh, f a of t which is basically the input force and a spring and the dashboard so when we will just uh, take a first order differential so we will get the dashboard force which is the velocity into the value of b so value of b would be the gain here we have to just flip it and here now you you can see that hi, this output is basically the force dashboard force so dashboard force will become here here we have plus but uh, actually it's minus so plus minus minus because of uh, two subtraction sign uh, two two negative terms we have that's why we are just taking two negative sign so now here we have uh, this again one gain more so here you can see the displace so this is x of t and it is multiplying with k value so it will become the spring constant force okay so here we have 
the force spring constant F S of T. So and this is your you can say the force which is acting on the system so the value of the force is 300 newtons so you can see here 300 newtons maybe yeah 300 newtons and the value of B is uh, 30 newtons second per meter and the mass is 750 kg so here we have mass 750 kg okay and this dashboard force would be 30 which is basically the fractional coefficient the value of fractional coefficient is 30 and here the value of uh, k is 1 ok so the k is the spring constant newtons per second now here we have the output x of t and the input response ok and here we have uh, the output now you have to run this so you will see the output of the system so this is your input which is a uh, 300 newtons force and the output basically approximately 140 seconds then uh, after one 140 seconds it will become linear and 300 so thank you so much for watching this video